Let's talk drills. Picking out the right drill can be a challenge for novices like myself, especially when you're trying to compensate for materials, coatings, point styles, and other factors. But the first question that I had when I was trying to pick out drills were sizes. There are letter sizes, which include letters A to Z, wire gauge sizes, which have the pound symbol in front of them, fractional sizes, and metric sizes. My knee-jerk reaction was to buy a handful that looked right, but I realized if I wanted to be a real machinist, I should probably figure out what they mean. So what do they mean? It turns out the reason for letter, wire, fractional, and metric sizes are all part of a historical and association standardization. First, note that these sizes describe the tool diameter. Fractional sizes were the product of the United States Imperial Measuring System Standardization by ANSI. Tormac sells these in 1 64th inch increments from 1 64th to 1 inch. Metric drill sizes are standardized by ISO and are typically available in 0.1 millimeter increments. Wire gauge drills are adopted by the United States from Europe, where the measurement referenced a wire's diameter. Since a gauge can be defined as size, it's literally wire size drills. These drills are available from number 97, the smallest, to number 1, the largest. Letter gauges start nearly right after the wire gauge drills end in size and get larger, spanning the entire alphabet. Now that I figured that part out, my next question was, are drills all the same sizes but with different names? It turns out, no. The answer should have been obvious, but I felt better once I realized how much overlap there was and how close in size they could be. In case you're curious, check out Tormach's tap drill chart, which also shows the recommended pilot drill size for a particular size tapped hole. If you're looking for more specifics on what drills to use and when, and how these sizes fit into your project, my machinist coworker said to look at the machinist handbook. They also reminded me that, just like anything else in machining, science only goes so far. There is an art to it you'll only figure out one way, and that's by making chips. Thanks for watching. Check out our latest videos here, and for more tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel here.